Hello everybody, uh, before we start this video I just want to say two things. First of all we would like to uh, thank Beach Major Series to give us this uh, amazing footage. Uh, the channel is linked below and uh, make sure to follow them on social media. Secondly, we decided not to edit this because we think it's such a high level production. Uh, so please let us know in the comment section below. Hashtag bars! What you would like to see, the edited version or the unedited version. Now, enjoy the game. And joining myself, Nick Fellows, in the commentary box for semi-final number two is the Olympic Beach Volleyball champion from the Sydney Games of 2000, Dane Blanton. This is one of the most anticipated matches of the week. The Netherlands, Alexander Brouwer and Robert Musen go up against the new stars from Norway, Anders Moll and Christian Sorum. Dane, this promises to be an absolute thriller with these young Norwegians getting some of the world's top players a little rumble themselves. If you ask anybody who knows volleyball, they're all talking about these young Norwegians. Mole and Sorum have taken the volleyball world by storm here in 2018. They started off with a second place finish in Itapema, Brazil, early in the season, but where they really broke through was in Stad a few weeks ago in the five-star major and then they went on to back it up a week later with a European championship and that's when really people started to say these guys are the real deal. Every player is looking out for them. Everyone is fearing getting in the path of Mole and Sorum because of their years. They are focused, they are patient, they're extremely athletic, and on top of that, they're great sportsmen. There's a look at the team comparison. Brower and Houston have won six golds. Norway, just that one goal, that would be in Stad just a couple of weeks ago. But remember, Mole and Sorum, 21 and 22 years respectively. It's just incredible. Usually you see a youngster playing with a veteran. These are two youngsters and no one seems to have the answer. And you can see it on that graphic, Dane. 15 FIVB World Tour competitions for the young Norwegians. 77 for Moussen and Brauer. Uh, very, very experienced players. And of course, the Dutch duo, former world champions. This will be an absolute thriller. Uh, making sure that we play within the rules and regulations of the FIVB, our first referee, uh, Lisandro Santos. And Nina Hobie is the second referee uh, from uh, Austria. Let's have a closer look at the four players, Dane, starting off with this uh, very experienced Dutch duo. Alexander Brouwer, he is exciting to watch. Why? Because he brings all sorts of power to his game. 198 centimeters tall at six foot six inches. He's a defensive specialist, always in the backcourt. He's fiery, he loves to play, and over the last year, he's really come into his own in terms of understanding he needs a little finesse with that power. So we'll watch how he tries to get past the big block of Mole this afternoon. His partner goes by the name of Robert Newson. Out of the hang, Newson, six foot nine inches tall, 207 centimeters, known around the world as one of the best blockers out there. He's got a wicked jump float serve as well. And this team, remember, won the bronze medal in 2016 in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, in the Olympic Games. So they are big game hunters. They know how to perform at the top of their game when the crowds are largest. On the other side of the net, the hottest team on tour from Norway, Anders Moll, first off, just 21 years of age, 200 centimeters tall, and this guy is something special. He gets his head and shoulders up above the net. A very stoic player, a sportsman out there, and what really surprises me about these guys are their patience. Usually when you're young, you're fiery, you get frustrated, but not these two. His partner, Christian Sorum, the defensive specialist in the backcourt, 22 years of age, 193 centimeters. 
tall, and this guy is quick, he's composed, and he's got a great serve reception and defensive play. These guys are exciting, and the crowd and the fans have come out to support him. Now, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, the young Norwegians are yet to beat the Dutch in their career to date. But it's been a very fast career for these Norwegians. Their pathway to the top of the standings has been so impressive. So this is a big match for the young Norwegian lads. There is no question of a doubt. It's another box that they're looking to tick in their amazing uh, career today. We call them the Vikings. Then in ski racing day, they call them the attacking Vikings. And that's what we'll call them here today, because they will need to attack to beat the class act of this tournament of Moosen and Brower. Now, the Dutch have won the toss. They put Norway in to serve. So Holland will serve, receive. Norway in blue and red. And Holland in their traditional orange vests. And there's the first block. And these early exchanges could be so important for the young Norwegians. And look at this one, Dane, to kickstart the action. Well, Anders Moll absolutely puts up a wall. There's not a lot of area to go around him. His technique is solid, and it's going to be a big challenge for Alexander Brower to get by him. You see that ball just hitting the back line, and you can tell already the block is on the mind of Alexander Brower. How he handles it will be very interesting this afternoon. They last met in June. They went to three sets. That serve is uh, way too deep. Easy point on the board for Norway, two to one. They're on a 17-win streak, these young Norwegians, from Stad, European champions, as you said earlier, Dane, to unbeaten here. And with a serve like that, there's already a break on the scoreboard for Norway at three to one. Just incredible. I don't. I don't know that, uh, I think we should re-emphasize 17 matches straight in three different tournaments. That's just incredible at the level that is out here. You're talking about playing against the best beach volleyball players in the world. And that's why we're giving this duo so much credit because they earn it. They have taken it by storm. Everyone has fallen in their path and they continue to play at an extremely high level. Consistency is what volleyball is all about and this too, these, this duo definitely has it. The record I'm told is from some of your American colleagues, Rogers and Dahlhauser. They have the record at 26 straight wins but these young Norwegians are chasing that record and they're chasing it quick. That's a good strike of the ball from Moosen. Moosen with a smart hit right here. He gets up and he hits it high. Really high off the block. That's a, the way you're going to tool the block. If you try to go low, that's where Anders Mole will make you pay dearly. Now here's Brow with service. 28-year-old out of the Hague. There's a set from Mole. Oh, that's a lovely dig. Sorum tries again. And it's another spectacular save from Brower. And he puts it away. Good play from Alexander Brower. Really fighting for every point, the Dutch. Right there, Brower sacrificing. Gets two hands on the ball. Really good quality dig. And then he's able to convert with a cross cross court. He sees Sorum sliding into the line. And if you can have that peripheral vision when you go up to hit the ball and watch the defender, you can make some very effective shots. Scores are tied at 4-all. Brower continues with service for Holland. Targeting Sorum. Find a nice little gap there, didn't he? The Norwegian number two, just 22 years of age from Oslo, now residing in Lillestrøm. Mol with the serve for Norway. There's the block as well. Excellent play from the youngster. Youngest player on the court. And as you said, with skills way above his years and age. 
up and over the net. You know, these two have been around volleyball for some time. They used to tell me they would go to the Grand Slam event in Norway, in Stavanger, Norway, and watch the players and really took to it, really fell in love with the sport, and they followed their dreams. They've gotten to this point now, and, you know, we always think these teams come out of nowhere, but there's been years of work to get to this point, and finally they're making a lot of noise. Yeah, we were discussing, weren't we, Dan, before the start of this semi-final, Norway is already setting up beach volleyball academies for their young rising stars and talents. And I think this is not the first Norwegian team that we're going to be seeing leading into the build-up for the Tokyo Summer Olympic Games of 2020. Yeah, they told me that they went to a high school in its somewhat of an academy, it's called Top Volley in Norway, where you train in the morning, you go to school, and then you train in the afternoon. So it's a school and a volleyball academy at the same time. So a lot of focus there. They said a lot of great coaches come through there, and they owe their success to the, the coaching that has happened. And they're actually coached by Anders Moll's father, Kore, Kore Moll, the, the dad. So it's a real family affair. Good play from Sorum. There's another break for Norway at 8-6. Total of 14 points on the board, so a quick side switch. 90 kilometers per hour, the speed on the ball from the spike of Sorum. That is a fast hit, 55 miles per hour. And there's the Vikings in the crowd cheering them on. Anders Ernsten Moll with the serve. Right down the middle of the Dutch court. Good shot from uh, Moosen. That's something that we've been discussing this week with the Dutch duo. More shots of the ball rather than continual power play, Dave. Yeah, Brouwer loves to really bang that ball. Also Musen. so if they put in more finesse shots and vary their shots, keep the Norwegians guessing, they're going to be in much better shape. Oh. Just out of bounds. You saw Musen taking a look and then looking at the referee for the call. Very close, but not close enough to challenge. Here's the big angle hit by Anders Moll, and that ball, he's very fortunate, ends up just out of bounds. Oh, there's Brower doing exactly what he's famous for. Not Powering that ball, but he needs to mix it up a bit, I'd say. Oh. He's challenging, you know, he's going to see what kind of block Anders Moll brought to the table today. And obviously, it's the same form that he has had over the last 17 matches. Oh, look at this hustle. And the ball ends up in the third row, but Anders Moll turning off the net almost made the play after Christian Sorum kept that ball alive. Look at this hustle here. Two hands, just barely misses it. If he's there a split second earlier, that ball comes straight up in the air and they give themselves another opportunity. They know that any play can turn the match around. And that's something that was interesting. Usually younger players don't have that kind of focus. They know that it might be nine all, and you score a point, and that can give you momentum to score five in a row. You just never know when that play is going to happen. Therefore, you got to treat every play the same. And Anders Moll on that play, really going for it. Alexander Brau with service for Holland. Sorum is definitely the choice of target from the Dutch serve. But he seems to have the answers. Excellent serve received and puts that little cut shot away very nicely. Look at this touch, just kissing off the top of the net. That's precise right there. I mean, you really can't get any more precise than that. A perfect cut shot by Christian Sorum. That's a nice shot right down the middle from Moosen. 
Noy still with a two-point break at 11 to 9. Now, this is an important point for Holland to try and pick up because with a total of 21 points on the scoreboard, we'll take what's called the technical timeout. The 30-second break at the halfway point of this opening set. Good shot from uh, Sorum. Goes the other way. That's a nice side out for Norway. Vikings are delighted. 12 to 9. Sorum getting some action right there. Elevating so high and crushing that ball cross court. You know, he's one of the shorter players at six feet one inches tall, but very dynamic. We saw Tijan from Qatar, another 6-1 player, the incredible vertical jump, and that's what you need to have if you're going to deal with what we call the trees out there, the guys that are 6'8", 6'9", or an Avandro at 6'11". A little bit of pressure on the uh, Dutch team here. They, too, had a lot of success in their early years. Uh, winning the World Championship title in 2013, so five years ago. Take five years off uh, Brouwer's age, for example, on the uh, left of your screen. That takes him down to 23 years of age. So these guys, they've been around a while, 77 tournaments against their name, a lot of experience. But like the Norwegians they're up against, had a taste of the big league in their early years. Yeah, it was interesting. Brower and Musen both were hurt back in 2011. One had a shoulder injury, Robert Musen had a knee injury, and everybody else was playing with one another. So they decided to play together, and then two years later in the World Championships, as you mentioned, they win that championship and have really been on fire ever since. The only knock against this team is sometimes they're killers, sometimes they have some off tournaments. You just never know, but I'll tell you what, the big games they come to play, winning in Porridge and obviously that bronze medal that they got in the Olympic Games, you never know when they're going to strike. Well, a good uh, point and strike for Holland here. They'll be delighted to take the force first point after the technical timeout. Brower with the service, saw him on the attack for the Vikings. Cross court, right on the line. That's one of the key factors to this Norwegian game. The precision on their shots is so impressive. What a set by Anders Moll. Putting it right up in the perfect position. No rotation on the ball. Just beautiful execution. Nice bang down the line right there by Brower. That's his favorite shot. Facing cross court, ripping it down the line. Sorum in position, but just a little bit late getting there. That ball was out of play. 14-11 to the young Vikings of Norway looking to maintain their amazing run of uh, victories on the FIVB World Tour. 17 if you include the European Championships. That's an easy ball for Norway to finish off here. Brower gets his team back out of trouble and puts it away. A little bit of a risky moment there for a few seconds, but that's a good recovery from Holland. Great recovery, great set at the end, a bump set to the outside, and then another rip down the line by Alexander Brower, and he's really making the right decisions right now in terms of attacking. Although Anders has three blocks, Norway, excuse me, the Netherlands right in striking zone. Oh, Brower can do no wrong in defense for Holland. And they've come away with the point. Well, that was a draining rally for all four players. But Norway take a very important point there. Yeah, yeah, I always like to say it. After a long rally, it usually takes more out of the team that loses the rally. They get a little more frustrated, and you really recognize that fatigue. This one, 
taxing on all four players. But in the end, it's the Netherlands that come up successful. This set just a little too low. He tries to cut it too sharp, ends up into the net. And you see a little frustration on the face of Anders Mole. Let's take a look at how they recover from that long rally and that loss of point. Very close. Look at the speed serve. 94 kilometers per hour. Just shy of 60 mph. But the ball just a little too deep, too long. Wing goes to Norway. They've still got that break of 15 to 13. And that's all they need, a two-point advantage to try and carry this first set. This is an absolute battle so far and exactly what we expected. Three of the previous four meetings have gone three sets. As we mentioned earlier, the Netherlands have won all four meetings between these two teams. Lovely play from the young Norwegians. One of their set pieces there. Well, it's good to see the Austrians really enjoying this play from Norway because they beat the local heroes here yesterday in the quarterfinals. Uh, couldn't stop that and Alexander Horst, but they warmed to these young lads. It's very difficult not to love the way they play. Yeah, this crowd is smart. They're knowledgeable. They know, and they respect great volleyball. And yesterday, really, these kids took it to their hometown heroes. And so why not? then cheer for them yes. since their hometown heroes are out and these guys are class acts they're humble and they work so hard they're crowd favorites wherever they go that is a really short float serve from Moosen but Norway take care of it that's one of their major assets their speed of movement to and from the net Look at that vision, seeing the line open and then tapping it down just in time before the defender gets there. Anders Maul eyeing that ball, making sure it got to the ground for the point. Christian Soren with the serve for Norway, 17-14-3 clear. Remember, we're heading to 21. You need to be two points clear. But Norway so far looking good for the first set, 18 to 14. You see the patience there by Anders Moll. He can't touch that ball until it gets on top of the plane of the net. And he waits patiently, throws it down, very composed. Anders Moll told me earlier it's a family affair, as the Netherlands called a timeout. I mentioned his father is their coach. His mother played in the 1996 Olympics for Norway in beach volleyball, finishing ninth place. And he also told me that not only his brother, Hendrik Mole, but his cousin, Matthias Bernsten, played in the qualifier here in Norway. And so they're all here. It's a family affair. And he says, we've, we've adopted Christian Sorm into our family. So it's a real tight knit group. And I think that's important. Usually the team behind the team can determine how stable that team is and how much success they have. No one does it alone, he says. You gotta have that support. And definitely this team is on the right track. That's a great story, Dave. Particularly his mom playing in Atlanta in 1996. That was when beach volleyball began its Olympic journey. And uh, that is something quite special. But I have to say, if these youngsters can keep playing like this, they will be going to Tokyo 2020, the next Summer Games, not just going to play, but going as favorites. Absolutely, and her, his mom's name was Marita Bernstein at the time. Very important for the Dutch to pick off this point here. They've called the timeout, they've stopped the play, they've looked to reassess the situation and they pull one of those points back Brower again with the serve Sorum beautiful shot just waits for a little extra to see which way Brower is moving fires it at the Dutchman's body 
You remember that long rally where there's a little frustration it looked like when Norway was just up by one point. I told you we would try to monitor how they responded and they responded greatly. Composed, patient, and now they're up by four, make it three after that missed serve. But these youngsters really not flinching when things maybe don't go their way. They know around even if they're down three or four points and i like the fact that they have never beaten the dutch team in their careers to date and they lost to them back in early june this season but hasn't their game changed in a matter of a couple of months oh dear me and uh, moves from there kicks the sand in disgust service error gives norway the first set point here at the vienna major soren Floats the ball to Moosen. Now it's Brower on the attack. Oh, good shot from Brower. With the pressure on. Second set point for Norway. They just need to side out here. And they're in control of this set semi final. Solid away from body hit by Brower. But now. The Netherlands going to have to create some magic. They need to score three points in a row. Oh. Well, that's the first time I've seen the young Norwegians do that, to be honest. Both of them watch the ball. Both of them see it hit the net. And that's not what we're looking for, Dane. They've got to go for everything. Well, you know what I love about what we just saw was the fact that Brower and Musen knew that they had to go for it. They had to do something special. And they rip a jump serve right down the middle. That's a difficult reception. I don't care how good you are because it's right in that indecision zone where you're not sure if it's your partner's, you're not sure if it's yours. And if the ball's hit with such velocity, the decision time is so quick. If you, if you don't make a move, you're frozen and it ends up an ace. So. We'll see if they can serve it in that area again, but two more points they need if the, if the Netherlands are going to get themselves back in. Dane, surely here's another indication of how mature this team is. 21 and 22 years of age, calling a timeout on set point to try and slow the Dutch down. That's a smart move. Yeah, very smart. You know, you have the timeout, you haven't used it yet, and so you want to break the momentum after that serve. Probably the best serve of the match that we've seen from Brower. And he's going for broke. And Brower's a guy who's got all sorts of power. I would anticipate that he might miss this serve going to it too strong. Nope, it's in. Moll looks to wrap up the first set for Norway and does it with a beautiful cross-court spike. 21 to 17. That is an impressive performance from Norway. The head-to-head -head stat has the Dutch 3-0. I'm not sure it's going to be that way by the end of play today. Great hit on the right by Moll, but I really was impressed with Brower's serve. I thought maybe he was going to try a little too hard to get an ace, which is easy to do in that situation when you're in a must-score situation. But he got that ball in. Give credit to Moore, and Anders Moll, who passed it well and then detonated with the kill and all the momentum on their side as they roll into the second set. Now the Netherlands have to win the second set to stay in the match. To take it to a third set uh, tie break, let's take a close look at the stats, Dave, and tell us what you think the Netherlands need to do to try and stay in this semi. Well, they have to get a couple of blocks for sure. Robert Musen has to block more balls. He's got zero right now, and Anders Moll winning that category four to zero norway's serve placement so far they are going almost exclusively to alexander brower they know that brower he's the shorter of the two players and he loves to hit and anders mole is a great blocker so when you're going up against the hitter you want to put that big block in their face it's been successful four blocks in the set which is spectacular if you can block four balls to set you're going to win just about every set that you're into so right now the netherlands got to pass the ball a little better but more importantly they got to score some points while serving and that either comes from great defense or blocking 
Second set with Norway winning the first, 21 to 17. Brower with the opening serve, Norway with the opening point. They pick it up where they left off. That was impressive. That's set from about three meters off the net. He rolls it right up for his partner and elevating his sorum going up against 6'9", Robert Musin, and not even flinching. Is Brower. Now Brower with an angle hit of his own. So Sorum getting a lot of work. And also Alexander Brower getting a lot of work. Is he Brower's partner? Moves. Well, that's a little too easy. Two to one to Norway. Mole with the service is already up at the net. Brower just on the line, and that was the narrowest of angles. Like down the alley is your wording for this kind of shot, Dave. You know, I'd like to see Anders Mole jump into the line and really seal up Alexander Brower's favorite shot. Make him rip it cross court. Easier said than done. Great shot from Anders Moll. I like that. Just so consistent. They do not give you any points for free. You're going to have to earn every single one of them. Here the set a little too inside, but look at him get the left side of the ball and place it perfect. It's good score here from Brat. Serve to Sorum. Sorum on the attack. It's a good dig from uh, Brower, but it's almost a free ball for the Norwegians. There's the block that we need to see more of from Robert Moveson. Oh, and he's let it go. Well, he got his hands there, pushed it down, but Anders Mold saw it coming, Dave. Wow. How about that? Moveson just throwing the ball back at Anders Mold, but what is impressive is the reaction. Check out Mole. He gets the ball up quickly. They get a second chance, and he goes deep to the corner. He doesn't get angry and just swing harder. He does the smart shot right there, out of reach of Alexander Brower. Anders Mole really getting it done right there. Yeah, that's a lovely example of how calm and cool these youngsters are from Norway. Controlling his emotion. There's Mol. He's got to watch that service error stand. That's his third or fourth uh, service right into the net. Yeah, I think it's a it's a cause by his toss. He's tossing it a little too far to the left and then not getting around on the ball, taking away his own line. They side out pretty quickly though. So many times we've seen Alexander Brower in the right position. The ball hit right at him, but unable to control it defensively. And that's a credit to Norway, really blasting every opportunity they get. Brower. Quality shots. Brower, when he goes outside with his approach. I don't believe he gets wide enough. Therefore, going hard angle is very difficult. He needs to get a little wider before he takes that approach. I think it'll open up his offensive window. That's an ace uh, for Robert Moveson. Very nicely placed. No, the bottom dropped out of that. What a great serve. Musin has a beautiful jump float serve, and he's so tall that he hits it at, from such a high spot that it almost is going down immediately, and it's got all sorts of movement. Oh, what a set. 
<laughs> Dream play. Backwards, Anders Mole, not even seeing where his partner is, just has a feel and a great court sense. Puts it right on the money and it makes it easy for his partner, Christian Sorum. Great play from Mole, who now serves for Norway. That's so too tight. Whenever there's an opportunity, these two, the Norwegians, they make you pay. Beautiful look at the joust at the net. It is won by Anders Mole and then a free ball situation for Christian Sorum. And he knows exactly how to get that to the ground. Interesting, he hit that ball angle. Netherlands were set up to take away that angle and just couldn't get it done. Oh, oh. Right back at you for Robert Musin crushing that ball cross court. No one near that. That was an impressive play. He's the tallest man on the court and taking full advantage of his height there, Musin. 91 kilometers per hour. That's the speed on the ball for that spike from the Dutch player. Now here's his partner, Alexander Brower serves. Sorum is his target, Sorum now in the joust at the net. It's out of play. Oh, it's good. Off the hands of the blocker. What a great play. Here's a first kind of error we saw there's a joust and then out of the joust he tries to pull it out of the net it goes over to the Netherlands to get a free ball situation and that ball ripped mm, straight so. down so we've seen two consecutive hits that have been straight down by Robert Musa. Well Brower pushes his serve out of play scores are all tied at eight all but the heat on the Holland because Norway have won the first set already at 21 17. Oh, nice little finesse roll shot over the top of the block. Nice and clean. Just actually goes right in between the arms of Anders Mole. That actually could have been very dangerous for the Netherlands. Oh, wow. In the impact zone right there. Anders Moll releasing cross court. And Brower kind of in a duck and cover. Almost got that ball up in the air. Scores are tied at 9 all. Here's Brower attacking for the Netherlands. Sorum for Norway. Another great shot from the young man. Right to the far corner of the Dutch court. So many times when Norway gets a free ball, they just make it very clear that they're going to capitalize and get that ball to the sand quickly. He was there, wasn't he? But just didn't quite the direct, get the direction of the ball that Moll was hoping for. Yeah, it was a great play on the right by Robert Musin. He goes high, just a little bit out of reach so that Anders Moll can't control it and throw it back. Very fortunate for the Netherlands. Brower with the big jump serve. Saw him on the attack. Oh, he's having a great match. <laughs> that was that no look kind of down the line shot that we see a lot from Alexander Brower. This time it's coming from Christian Sorum. Just releasing that ball bounces over the banners. And look at that elevation, Christian Sorum. 21 points total on the board, tech timeout. 
Norway looking just as impressive at the halfway point of this second set as they were in the first. They'll try and keep their focus, Dane, because the last time these two teams met, the young lads from Norway won the first set and Holland came back and won the next two, including the uh, third set tiebreak. And that's why I think we see very little emotion from the Norwegians. Absolute focus. They're not going to let this one slip through the fingers if they can help it at all. Yeah, and that last victory, the Netherlands over Norway, came about a month and a half ago. And that was the full work this Norwegian team really caught fire. So this will be a true test now that they are on fire. Yeah. They're running into a team that they've never beat. And right now they're somewhat handling the Netherlands. They have been in the driver's seat relatively most of the match, albeit by a couple of points. Well, Dane, you and I were shocked when we saw them firstly in Gestad, Switzerland, when they won the major there. They then went on to win the European Championships in The Hague. And here they are, looking to get it into a second major gold medal match. And that is, well, a very poor serve received from uh, Robert Moveson. That's the thing, you always have to keep your focus. What this young duo from Norway is doing is they know that if they can get a couple of points here and there, this is going to be another point scoring opportunity. Lovely back set. And uh, Sorum puts it away. There's the break immediately after the tech timeout. Norway draw free clear. Yeah, they come out of the tech, they're up by one point, they get an ace against Robert Mewson, and now a free ball situation that they capitalize on, hitting cross court to Brower, and all of a sudden, it's 13-10. The Netherlands have seen enough, they've already called the timeout after three points scored in a row by Norway. That's how quickly it can happen. And then, when they get a cushion, then they focus on their side out game, when the damage is done right now it's going to be up for the netherlands not only to settle down on their side but now they're going to have to manufacture some points when they're serving you know that serve we saw at the end of the first set from alexander brower we're going to need more of that right now they're going to have to put pressure on this norwegian team if they're going to be successful they cannot go back and forth with them they have to take some risk and go for some ace serves Here come the Vikings in blue. The Dutch in their traditional orange vests. The Norwegian number two, Christian Sandli Sorum. Now Sorum here. No, this is a chance to wrap this up in two sets. They would dearly love to wrap it up in two because of the uh, weather issues that we've had throughout the day here at the Rebel Beach Arena. We've had to. Uh, rejig the schedule and we'll go straight into the gold medal match just after 5 p.m. here on center court which means that uh, very little turnaround time for the Norwegians certainly very little time to rest so they will be hoping they can finish this second set off as quick as possible I think the Dutch heard you Dave they're starting to take a few more risks push it a little harder to get those all-important points back on the board. It's the only way. It's the only way Mole and Storm are so comfortable. you got to take them out of their comfort zone, make them do something they don't like. you got to serve tough. They are great at serve-receive, and I like that, you know. Houston going for it. Yeah. He's, you, you know, you got to go for it because six points away, from this thing being over, you got to stop this Norwegian team somehow in some way. Mole with the service. It'll kiss off the tape of the net, but uh, it's a good receive from Moveson. And it's a good point, a very important point on the board and side out for the Dutch. Yeah, the Dutch right now have to be impeccable when they're siding out, when they're receiving serve. And then they're going to have to score as well when they're serving and points have been so stingy to come by being given up by Norway. 
There's one right there. There's one to start to close the gap. That's exactly what the Netherlands need to do. Some scrappy defense, and then, more importantly, converting after the defensive play, and the lead is now just two points. The challenge request here. been notified on what the challenge was, but I believe it may be a blocked touch. So Norway is challenging that the Netherlands touched the ball on the block. Therefore, I think it would be ruled for contacts on the play that is in question. This is interesting because the ball wasn't hit out of bounds. Therefore, I'm thinking it was right before there. It's cross court. There is no touch. There is no touch there. It goes right off the top of the net. And I understand what Norway was. They were thinking that was a touch. Therefore, there wouldn't be three contacts after that. There would be only two, which would have been a violation. But no touch. The ball hit the net. They thought the blocker touched it. It didn't happen. So Norway just one challenge remaining. Alexander Brauer, 28-year-old Dutch player, puts the ball to Sorum. Sorum now on the attack for Norway. The block is there for Robert Moveson. They're starting to get those all-important points back. Good play from Holland. Solid block, jumping and sealing the line. Actually, Blocker didn't even get that one. It just hits the top of the tape, and that was the result of a pass that was just a little bit less than perfect. Made Anders Moll bump set the ball. It was a great set, but nonetheless, here we go. The Dutch closing the gap with three consecutive to get themselves right back in it. And that's why those three quick points from the Netherlands Norway called their timeout. Each team is allowed to call one 30-second break, known as a timeout, per set. Holland have already used theirs, now Norway look to try and break the flow of play, break the rhythm of the Netherlands by stopping the match for 30 seconds. I think this is a good timeout right here. Stop it before it gets even up. It's already been three points in a row. And rethink it, reset, take a couple of deep breaths, and focus in, and visualize what you have to do. Now Moussen and uh, Brower with service need to pick it up where they left off. Saw him on the attack. This one he puts away. Absolutely justifying the call of the timeout. And the break is back with Norway at 16-14. There's that hand set from Anders Moll, maybe one of the best setters in the world, putting the ball right on the spot. That previous play, he had the bump set. I know that he prefers to hand set, has much more control. It must have been a touch on the block, therefore that's why Moll went over. Good play from uh, the Netherlands. Just holding on here, the Dutch. Yeah, big touch right between the arms of Anders Moll. That's why I had to bump that ball over. And a free ball for the Dutch. Oh, a huge point-scoring opportunity for the Netherlands, and they hit it wide. That would have tied the scores at 16. Great touch on the block. There's the set, and Robert Houston tries to hit the angle. A really routine shot. Usually, he's just wide. That error could cost Holland the match. Oh, wow, and a broken play. Sorum groveling on defense, and look at that. Just in the blink of an eye, 
we're back to a three-point edge for Norway. There's that patience, there's that wisdom beyond their age. Both teams have used their timeouts. There's no chance to stop the play. Oh, he got the block, but not the direction with the ball. You notice after the hit, the fall backwards and fall down by Alexander Brower. That's because the angle he's taking to hit that ball is against physics. You want to get outside and come in so you have power cross court. You're not hitting away from where your jump is going, and that's costly. As is that service error, 19 to 16. There's a real chance now for Norway. Anders Moll, the rookie of the year on the 2017 FRBB World Tour. Sorum with the serve. Good play by Robert Moveson. Now, this is where the experience, 77 FIVB World Tour tournaments for the Dutch duo can help them hold their nerve, Dave. Yeah, they have to score some points while serving. This is where you got to risk it a little bit. Side out here for Norway, and it's match point. Oh, and the linesman flax goes up. The Netherlands pull another point back. Just out of bounds. We haven't seen a hitting error all afternoon from either Mole or Sorum, but it comes at a very opportune time for the Dutch. They'll need one more. Houston. Oh, service error. That is so disappointing for the Dutch fans. Match point for Norway. Wow, that one wasn't even close, that serve. Right in the middle of the net. Could be costly. Norway looking to head to the gold medal match. Norway looking to beat this Dutch team for the first time in their career. And it's down to Anders Moll with service. First match point. A big serve. Moveson. The block is there! Moll puts the ball down! Norway into the gold medal match! And the young Vikings have done it again! That is remarkable! What a way to wrap it up! As the young Norwegian players continue to set this centre court alight, Defeating Austria yesterday and Holland today. Two sets to zero, 21-18, 21-18. Oh, now they go up against Poland in the gold medal match. Michael Brühl and uh, Gregor Fjallek have been watching this game and trying to learn as much as they can. The winning streak for the young Norwegians is now 18 matches undefeated. And look at the Norwegian Viking flats. Started off with a wicked serve from Moll. Look at him almost sprint to the net. He sees Moveson coming in, up he goes, shuts out the light, perfectly timed block. It goes down to the sand, and the match is won. Up he goes again. The athleticism of this 21-year-old is most impressive. Look at this vertical leap. Up, up, and up again. Squashes that ball down to the sand. What a dramatic finish. What a great match. Pictures of joy. One more game for Norway. And they may well make this their second victory of the season.
have a quick breakdown on the stats of this game. Look at the blocks. And Dane Blanton, our expert in the com box, called it perfectly. 5-0 to zero in the blocking game. That's where Norway won the match. Let's hear from the Norwegians who are live on centre court with Dane Blanton. Anders Moll, congratulations. Just a, another fantastic match. You had played that team four previous times. You had lost every single time, but a lot of them were in three sets, so it was always close. What adjustments did you guys make today to get the win? I don't know. We, uh, we were really hungry to, to take them down, and uh, they were uh, highest on our wanted list. We, we talked to them earlier also in the dinner. Uh, you're the one that we want to beat, and I think that's uh, that's also why we won today, because we really wanted, wanted that win. Speaking of the most wanted list, 18 consecutive matches you guys have won, starting in Stad to the European Championships to this tournament. Anyone who gets in your way, it seems like they're on that wanted list. What's been the difference over the last 18? I don't know. Uh, we, we, we're just really... Like riding on a wave, uh, we have found our game super well, and uh, we're, we're playing better than ever. Uh, so we're really confident in our play, and uh, we we just want to like continue to play good volleyball and and uh, yeah, inspire people. And uh, yeah, we we really love to play here in in front of these uh, huge crowds. So final question here: You play Poland in the final. Are they on your most? I think we're 2-2 uh, two, two right now, so we want to go 3-4-2. Three, three, uh, they're also a really good team, and uh, it's going to be a tough battle, but we're, uh, we're ready for it. Congratulations. Go get some rest, and uh, good luck in the final.